Friends, if you're looking for wallpaper, remember, wallpaperboulevard.com. That's www.wallpaperboulevard.com. And if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, you could just use my name. They'll give you 10% off at checkout. So today I have an awesome video for you on masking tape and using it around cabinets and then using it for an accent wall where one wall is one color and the adjacent wall is another. I have some nice videos coming up on painting and the use of certain tapes, like painter's tape. So check out the videos that are going to be coming out. Thanks for watching. Spencer Colgan is wallpaper. Now enjoy the video. Hey viewers, thanks for watching my channel and welcome back. Today's project, painting. Painting trim and using masking tape. Many of you ask me about the tape I use. And as professionals, we're always moving from one product to another to save us time and get in and out of the job. It's rarely to save money because when you save money, oftentimes you're losing something in the end, you're rushing. But in this case, I'm gonna show you how to save time. Now the tape I'm going to show you isn't cheap, but I'm gonna show you the results between one, two, and three different types of tape. Two of which come from the frog tape collection and another that's your typical masking tape that's usually tan in color that happens to come from 3M Scotch. Let's take a look at the experiment. From left to right, we have our typical masking tape. This is a product from 3M, 3 as in Mary. And this is the tape that we all grew up with way back when, right? This product is from Frog Tape and it's yellow, obviously. And it is actually uh, in the trade, we call it yellow frog tape to make sure that we know which frog tape we're talking about. This is also from frog tape and this is our green frog tape. These all have different applications. The most expensive is the yellow and that is for your high-end work, your delicate surfaces like uh, kitchen cabinets where you fear you may pull off the veneer or freshly applied paint and you want to mask up against the newly applied paint because you want to paint a different color. For example, if we had just painted this, two hours later we want to mask this. This is your tape right here. But I'm going to show you the the tape that you're going to use the most, which is just masking your your trim from the wall paint. And even though you could use all three, theoretically, you certainly wouldn't want to be using this one, which could cost you as much as $10 a roll. Okay? You wouldn't want to do that. But I want to introduce you to the green frog tape versus its, its counterpart, which is your typical tan masking tape. This green frog tape has paint block technology, okay? There's the cover, it's multi-surface, and what happens when you put a liquid over this paint, over this tape, which is the paint you're going to apply, it causes the edges to swell up. It causes the edge to swell up, and then theoretically, it fills in the surface over which it's placed in order to give you a, a, a tight seal, okay? Now, to be fair, I'm going, we're going over texture. And so I'm going to rub it to make sure that it's down. But I'm going to do the same for all the rest of them. Okay, and I'm going to see which of these stands up to textured surfaces. And so we're gonna take our typical paint roller, roll right over it with the same pressure on each. Okay. 
We won't count down here because it's obviously coming off of the wall, right? And now we're going to see which one served us the best. Now remember, I feature a technique on this show, my channel, of caulking the edges so that paint doesn't get underneath. But if they're going to give us a paint, folks, that does the trick without the caulking, right? Aren't we going to take them up on it and just spend the extra money so we can get out of the job quicker? Now let's see how our 3M tape did. Okay, we have bleed under the tape. That's not gonna cut it in most houses. Let's see how our yellow did. Remember, we're not going at the bottom. We're looking at this right here. Interesting. Almost no bleed at all, although we have a little bit right there. Hmm. But now let's see the green tape because this tape has a technology that's new and it swells up and acts like you're caulking. What do you think? Wow. Wow. I like the green tape and you know what? I'm going to use it and push down firmly on it. Especially, don't forget this is texture, right? Not that easy to keep paint out. But if you can get away with a step using the caulking, wouldn't you rather save some time on this process? Let's get rid of these lines. Okay, whoop. Now, Let's try this again. You're painting an accent wall. This wall is green, this wall is white. Think about putting this right in the corner. And now you're going to push down firmly on this, giving it a good amount of pressure. Because now you're inclined to use the green tape and you're voting for the green. You want it to be successful. Let's see how we do. Paint is swelling up. You can actually see a little bit of rise in the tape. Okay, so let's take it off. You decide for your projects. I'm going with the green frog tape, folks. How about you? What do you use? What do you trust? Please let us know below.
Don't try it. And um, I'm sorry, am I interrupting it? Or no, you? not at all. Oh, okay. No, I, vo I, I just mute this out. Oh, okay. Tell me, how did um, they do? What did they do? It was $1,000, but I got a new certificate for four, four nights, five days. Four nights and With the vacation club, but you get, it's like living in a condo. It has two bedrooms. It has nice. a kitchen, living room. It's, it's big and it's very nice. And um, it's like staying at a house. And where? Anywhere you um, want to? Well, there's a list and some of the things that I like is like, um, Vail was on there in Park City, Utah, which 